What's up guys, welcome back. Um, now today I wanted to teach you all how to get the most use out of a lot of the new um, items that came with the Easter update. Now I also wanted to give credit to WR and um, my friend Riley because they did help me with some of these idea uh, with some of these ideas. So yeah, make sure to give them some credit too. First of all, um, we found the best way to use the not only ore memer but the um, the new illusion item, illusions of void. You can get that from the illusion egg, and I think this thing is insanely overpowered. Um, because not only does it do an insane multiplier, but if you use the ruby crystallizer or indoctrinator. Illusions of Void, which automatically educates ores, so you don't only have to use this. You could technically put, if you put this in your setup, your setup's getting a huge buff. Um, because not only can you use um, Indoctrinator three times, but you could also use this three times, this entire line. Um, you can use an Illuminator as well, but pretty much the Professional Upgrader will boost Ore Mirror. And then after Ore Memer, your ore already comes out with two suffixes higher, just with this alone. So not only will you use that three times, but that is... Hold on. It's three... Here, let me do the math real quick. Alright, so we've done the math now, guys, and it does make your setup overall. If you use it all three times, it will make it worth... You mean um, four times? Well, three times if you just put it in your setup because the illusions, uh, you don't want it to kill ore because I'm pretty sure it does do a negative effect, but I'm not too sure. Um, but no, to kind of use voice stars to do four loops. You could, if you're using it. <laughs> yeah, if we if you use a star loop. Ah, um, uh, okay. Either way, with a star loop and you're just using it three times, it's gonna do a. a quintillion times multiplier so that's pretty oh, insane nothing, also uh for this one i wanted to thank ruffles for giving me the idea of this and i thought it was insanely big brain um depending on the uh the way you have your dasha line uh i highly recommend not using a void line because dasha is a resetter what you could do is some really insane crap you could uh not only use the um, you could not only use the energy core, but you could also use the, the, uh, the per, uh, the pearl announcer. So you could, you could get an insane multiplier of putting these underneath your dystrophy line. Um, but on the side of your main setup too. So like, let's say this is part of my main setup, like my three upgrader lines that I get the most out of. Then above these, I could start my dystrophy line and you could get really really op multipliers with that so i highly recommend um doing this Easy. then the last one we have for today is <clears throat> um a great way to use zarbama um it's pretty much using the eye teleporter um dropping down through a platform in a zarbama but not only could you just do that you could you could make it really interesting and do something like this. Hold on. So I did some big brain thinking and you could make um, a free fall system work like this. So you could get your free falls in by <coughs> guiding the aura with these two at the top and then making sure it hits all of these while pretty much always landing in Zarbamba. So it is still really good. I'm pretty sure it's actually missing them. If it is, yeah, it is. then you could honestly just move it forward a little bit. Yeah. It also depends on ore size too though. Yeah. Oh yeah, that hits every single one perfectly. That's that's perfect. Oh wait. Completely skip the saw. I mean, usually if it hits straight down the middle, it hits. So I just, mean, if someone can find a great, 
If someone could just find move this up, uh, oh sorry. If someone could find a good way to use the I teleporter, honestly, this could be. Just remove the Zabumba one unit forwards. Oh, true, true. He is speaking facts. I've used it like. There you go. See. Now they drop straight in. Easy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm too tired to <laughs> do this. I could probably would have thought of that like instantly. All right. We guys in the comments, tell me if you think we should make a literal just compilation of me of uh, me being an idiot because I think there is like probably like three hours worth. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day and a guild.